everybody, welcome to Upstreet Online. My name is Ryan and I'm so glad you're here with us today. We're talking about what we believe about Jesus. We call it faith and what you and I should do after we start believing. Also, hope you like fish. So I wanna know, do you like fish? Like to eat? Ever tried Branzino? Who wouldn't love looking at a fish eyeball while you eat? Ugh, there's gotta be other kinds of fish, right? Ah yes, the highly sophisticated fish stick. That's more my speed. Ooh, salmon? That is so good, ever had it? You saute it in a pan, add a little butter. Okay, now I'm hungry. Do you know here in America, we eat 6.9 billion pounds of fish a year? 6.9 billion! That's a lot of work if you're a fisherman or fisherwoman. And you know what else is cool? The Bible is full of fishing stories. The very first followers of Jesus actually started out as fishermen. Peter, Andrew, James, and John. In fact, there was this one time that Peter was out fishing like all night and hadn't caught one single fish. Like every time he threw the net out, he was like, Ugh. 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 Huh, that's a tire. Ugh. Ugh. Broken Crocs. Oh, not helpful. <gasps> a cell phone! With a crack screen. After a long and frustrating night of catching exactly zero fish, Peter and the other fishermen call it quits and give up. They start cleaning their nets. But then, Jesus, who Peter didn't know yet, starts teaching a large crowd right at the shore. And he sees Peter's boat. The crowd is so big that Jesus asks Peter if he'd mind taking him a bit farther out in the water so more people could hear him. Peter says sure, so he takes Jesus out in the boat. Then, after Jesus is done teaching, he turns to Peter and says, Put out into deep water and let down the nets for a catch. What? After the night they had? That's, that's kind of hilarious, right? So Peter tries to explain to Jesus, we've worked hard all night and haven't caught anything. But then, Peter says something really surprising. Because remember, he doesn't know Jesus yet. He's not seen him do anything, but it's almost like Peter starts to wonder, what if, like what if this guy standing in my boat is the real deal? What if he is the son of God? So Peter says to Jesus, but because you said so, I will let down the nets. So then Peter lets down the nets and then guess what? So much fish! Amazing, right? Something only Jesus could do. And right then and there, Peter's faith exploded. He believed Jesus was the Son of God, the real deal. And when we read this story in the Bible, we read, and I love this part, they left everything and followed him. From that day on, Peter decided to follow Jesus, to learn everything he had to teach him. Where Jesus went, he went. What Jesus did, he did. What Jesus didn't do, he didn't do. Peter became a follower of Jesus. And that's what you and I can do too. Once you have faith and believe in Jesus, then the next thing you do is you follow him. And that is a lifelong journey. I'm still on it too. I became a believer six years ago and now all I do every day is try my best to follow Jesus. And the best place to learn how to follow Jesus is to read about him. In here. The Bible helps us know how Jesus lived and how he treated people so we can do the same. And here's what I've learned. Jesus was kind, kind to older people and little kids and sick people and even mean people. Jesus was always kind. I wanna be kind like that too. And Jesus was honest. He told the truth to everyone, no matter what. And he was forgiving. He didn't stay mad at people. He chose to love them and to let things go. There is so much to learn about Jesus. That's why we always gotta stay curious and keep following him. 
because when you believe in Jesus, you wanna follow him. Let's pray and ask God to help us follow Jesus this week. God, we love you. Help us look for ways to follow Jesus this week at school, at home, and with our friends. Help us to become more and more like Jesus as we follow him. Amen. Truth from God, because he loves us. Now faith is confident in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Hebrews 11. Learn it, lock it, live it. I will not be afraid, I will not be afraid Even when the dark surrounds me and when things get rough I will look to the Lord, I will look to the Lord Cause there's a promise He has made It's not a promise He will break Seems too tough.